During this video, we're going to be talking about the visual editor and making sure that you understand how to use all the different elements and how to change and customize and edit anything you want inside of our visual editor. So here I am on a sales page right now, and there's a few things that you need to know about our visual editor and just how simple it is. For one, if you want to change anything on the web page, no matter what it is, all you have to do is click on it and you're gonna have options that appear below that element and every single element is going to have a little gear symbol and when you click on that gear symbol, it's going to bring up a configuration settings on the right hand side of the page. Okay, that's the most important thing that you need to know about our visual editor. To change anything or edit the way something looks or feels, you just need to click on it and then click on the gear symbol right below it and that's gonna bring up this pan over here and these settings on the right hand side will be different based on what you clicked on. Like these right here are the button settings. We can change the button text. We can change the font size, the font color, the button style, the button color. Even when you hover over the button, we can change the color of that. We can change, we can add icons to it, as you can see here, and we can even add animation to it. How the button comes into the page once it's loaded. Same thing for any other element. If we click on this video here, we're gonna see the little gear symbol appears. We click on that and the video settings are much more minimal. All we have really is what video are we going to play in that slot. So as you can see here, I have a YouTube video that is pasted here and we can choose to disable the controls and auto play the video if we want to once the page is loaded. And that goes for anything that we click on. Click on this image here, we have the gear symbol. Click on the text, we have the gear symbol. Now the only difference is for the text when you click on it, even though you have the gear symbol, you also have a little pencil symbol and that's because if you wanna change the actual text, you need to click on the pencil symbol here and then we actually edit the text right inside of the visual editor. Just like that there, we can highlight it, we can change, you know, and you know, we can center this text, we can change the font, we can change the color, the background color, we can add bullet points, you know, all the different, you know, standard, editing options that you have for font, you have it on here too, right inside of the visual editor. Okay, so now that you understand that no matter what you click on, you can click on the gear symbol to open up the editing options on the right hand side. Now on the left hand side, if you want to add new elements to your page, we have all these different options over here and all you have to do is click it and you drag it over and you drop it wherever you want, okay? So let's say, for example, I wanted to add an image right above this purchase button, okay? So what I would do is I would come over here and you see that we have all kinds of different elements that you can choose from. I am going to go to my image element. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna drag it over here. And as you can see on the visual editor, you see the little boxes appear and we can drop this wherever we want. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go right above my button here and I'm gonna drop my image just like that. Now to edit this image, you're gonna click on it. You're gonna to go to the gear symbol and now we have the options to upload our own image or link to an image or anything like that. We can do this with any element that we want on the left hand side here. Maybe I want to add comments to my page so I can click, I can drag the comments and put these comments wherever I want. Maybe I want them at the very bottom of my page. So I do that, I drop it and as you can see, we have Facebook comments just like that. If I don't wanna use Facebook comments, I can just click on it, go to the gear symbol here, and I can change this to discuss comments. And just like that, it changes my comment system to discuss with no issues. We can also change the size of something by simply clicking on it again. And you're gonna notice that we have these little boxes here on the bottom, in the corner, and on the side. So we can kind of click and drag. I can make this button a little bit longer if I want to. I can make it a little bit taller if I want to and it changes right there inside of the visual editor just like that. Same thing for the video. Maybe I wanna make this video a little bit smaller, so I click it. You can see the little box over here, so I'm gonna click and drag it, and we can see the video just goes however small I want it to go. Also, what you will notice is that we have these little columns here. As you can see, we have three different columns here for these main benefits, while on the button, for example, it's just one big column. So how do we do that? Well, what we can do is we can come over here to where we have the columns element. We can kind of click and drag this and let's drop it above the headline, for example. And we drop that and we're gonna see this little dotted line in the middle here. That means that we have two columns right now. So I can place something over here and I can place something different over here. 
That's kind of like the video that we have here with the bullet points on the side. This here is two columns. Now we can add more columns by simply clicking on the background here. Then we have this little plus sign and minus sign. We can click the plus sign and now we have three different columns that we can add content to just like the main benefits down here. And to do that, you just click and drag so I can grab my title. And as you can see, I can drop it in any one of the columns that I want to. So I can put that in the middle column there. Of course, we can edit with the pencil here. We can kind of shrink this text down and make it smaller. Then we can center it just like that there. And then I could add an image in that column as well and do that for the other columns. Also, you will notice that we have different background colors here. We have this brown background with the button. Then we have this white background. Then we have this gray background. These are called different sections. Okay, now to do that at the very top here, we have the section, we have the wide section. And on this particular page, we are using the wide section, as you can see, because it stretches across the entire page. That's what a wide section does. A normal section is just a little box that you can include onto the web page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another wide section into our sales page. So we can click this, we can drag it here, and let's place it, let's scroll down a little bit, and let's place it just above our image here that we have. So you're going to drop it just like that. And now all you see is a big old white spot, right? Now I, I click on that and I highlight it and that's the new section that we just added. So to kind of make that stand out a little bit more for us, what I can do is I can click on the gear symbol here. I can go to the background color and I can go ahead and change this color to something else so we can kind of see exactly where our section is at. So maybe I want to make that a black color like that there. And now we can kind of click and drag and drop things inside of this section just like the button here is inside of this section. So if I want to add a button, I can click and drag it just like that there, drop it there right inside of my section, and then I can click on the button here and customize that any way I want it to look. Or perhaps I want to add columns just like this inside of my section. So I go to my columns element over here. You're going to click, you're going to drag it, and you're going to drop it just like that. From here, we are going to go to the gear symbol. For the background color, we are going to make that transparent so that it blends in with our section that we have here. And of course, we can add another column if we want to. And now we have three columns, just like the gray section has here, okay? So I really hope I'm getting the point across that everything you wanna do here, you can simply just drag and drop, and every option has its own personal little gear symbol here that you can click on, where you can make customized changes to that particular element. You can add as many sections as you want. You can change all the different colors. You can add columns. You can drag and drop. You can resize things by simply clicking on it and then dragging the little boxes here, the little resize boxes. And it's just really, really simple and easy to use and very flexible. All you have to do is point, click, drag, and drop.